Today, we're gonna show you the seven steps on how to turn this into this, and then this into this. Let's do it. After the right price. So today it is 1.33, and we're gonna try to do, we have 22 Wii systems completely untested. We're gonna try to process all 22 in two hours or less. So our goal is to keep it under 10 minutes per console. We got three people, so it feels possible, but we're gonna have to be efficient regardless. And we're each gonna do various stations and crank them out as quickly as possible. All right, Scott, let's start the clock. So the first thing we need to do is take the Wii, untested, bring it over to the testing station. So I like stacking the consoles, if you have a whole bunch of them, and then the remotes and nunchucks. I put as close as possible so I don't have to do any moving. We take the cords, we get them all bundled up, cleaned over at the cleaning station. So Skylar's gonna be doing that. And then the packing station, it's kind of combined with the cleaning station right now since we have so much stuff. Uh, but we pack them into a box that is 12 by eight by six. You can order them by the 100 on eBay. So I'm gonna be cleaning all of these cords. We like using the awesome spray, which is found at Dollar Tree. Um, super useful. And then if you have any like super sticky residue or gunk on it, we like getting uh, using Goo Gone. You can find that pretty much anywhere. So I like just making sure that the cords are all good. Give them a quick wipe down. And then we use rubber bands to tie up each side. So let's test the Wii. I like to have cables already set up because I have so many Wiis. So we literally have a sensor bar with electric tape to the top of the TV. So we are ready to go. Get the remote and nunchuck combo, fire up. Pretty, pretty straightforward process. Love testing with Wii Sports. It's a fun game and it's the easiest one to test with. All right, so it looks like this is working. Now I'm just gonna go into boxing, make sure it's all good to go. After that, once you verify that all the buttons work, the motion controls work, uh, head, on, head on over to factory, reset the system. Okay, so when I'm done testing, making sure everything works, I like to hit the eject button first, then the reset button. I don't know, that's just like one little microsecond improvement to go as quickly as possible. Uh, and this is in order to reset the console. Go to Wii Options in the bottom left, Wii Settings, and you gotta go all the way over, Format Wii System Memory. This one actually has parental controls, so this is a really good example. This happens all the time, and I've heard of pe some people calling Nintendo. That just takes way too long. So you just gotta go to this, the parental control section, hit I forgot on everything. You get your number here and then go over. So we parental control password reset tool. You gotta type in your confirmation number, get the reset code. But sometimes you have to go into the calendar and check what the date is. Um, and then you have to enter in that day on the pin generator. So I gotta change that to yesterday's date. And then I'll enter it in and it should be good to go. Now that the parental controls are disabled, we can go back over and actually format the system, get it ready for a new owner. I used to not do this. Like three, four years ago, I didn't factory reset the Wii's and they were getting returned like crazy. Almost every single one that I got returned had parental controls on it. And the issue is that the average consumer, the average person that plays a Wii does not know that you can just Google it real quick and get it taken care of. So doing that to reduce returns is essential. All right, so we are now moving on to cleaning the systems themselves. So these are actually pretty nice, but we're just gonna give them a wipe down, check them for little things like this. If something's super stuck on, I'll grab like a magic eraser and rub that down. And then we also have some water here for spraying and then some awesome spray. So I'll take some of this, spray it on this here microfiber, real quick, wipe down, outside, bottom, front panel, Open up this little door, make sure that's looking good in there. Open up this top panel, make sure that's all clean. And then we will set those over to the side to get ready for packing. Uh, then we'll also check remotes here. So make sure that they have covers and we're gonna check inside to make sure that there's no corrosion or gunk that needs to get cleaned out. Rubber band, uh, nunchucks like this, make sure they're clean, give them a wipe down. And then what you got is a nice minty fresh system ready for packaging. All right, so now that we have the systems clean, we put them in a 14 by 10 poly bag, put it right in here, take this off, fold it over, neat and tidy. Buyers love receiving stuff, poly bag. We have links to these in the description below. And then for our controller, nunchuck, and if you have a cover, put them all in a nine by six 
bag. It also works great for games. Yes, works good for games. When we fold it right up, we are good. Move on to the next step. All right, so then we take a 12 by eight by six box. We're gonna tape it up. We have some really cool silent tape that was suggested by a Discord member that works really well. That squeak you're hearing is not the tape, it is the dispenser, and we haven't found a silent one of those yet. Um, so we tape it up, throw these guys right in here, and then we get a power brick, AV cords, a sensor bar, and we're gonna put them all right in here so it's nice and snug. We'll fix any looseness in a second. But now we have to figure out what game to bundle it with. Okay, so once you're to the packing station, which Skylar has this nicely packed up, bagged, we gotta decide which bundle we're gonna do. So, option one is with Wii Sports, and these are the listings that are on Amazon, and that's the most common one that I do. Option two is with a Mario Kart game and a wheel. Option three is with Resort and regular Wii Sports. Those are the three bundles that are on Amazon. You gotta kind of see where the buy box is at, what the low price is at, and then decide from there. And it also depends on which bundlers you have. We're out of Mario Karts right now, so we're going with Wii Sports on all of these. And the reason I sell them in bundles is because they usually sell faster. Customers want them ready to play as right out of the box, especially you know in December. And then also, the price is a lot better. So Wii Sports might sell for 20, 25 bucks by itself, but it usually adds about 50 bucks, 60 bucks, to the value of the price of the console for what it can sell for. So it's definitely worth it, and it's a no-brainer. So we decided what bundle, we're gonna put Wii Sports in here, tuck it nicely, and now we double check, make sure that we have everything in here because you don't wanna have to reopen this box after you forget something. We're gonna fill it with craft paper, make sure it's packed nice and tight so nothing can shift around. Close it up, tape it this way, tape it that way. So we slap that this is a set sticker on it so Amazon doesn't remove and open up the contents of this box. And then Chase and I, we put stickers on that says, you know, exactly what it is. And then the condition, VG standing for very good, that you can sell very good, good, or acceptable. We like to keep everything very good. Um, that way Chase knows when he's putting things into Exceller List to list things on Amazon. You can print out the label, we'll just slap it right over top of this and then get ready to box that up to send to Amazon FBA. All right, so we're officially at the one hour mark. I'm on the 11th system tested. Everything has worked so far, so that's good news. Uh, we only have one system finalized, but we have a bunch that are like about ready to be finalized. So it's kind of uh, testing and cleaning heavy on the front end and then there'll be a bunch of packing on the back end. We kind of go assembly line style. But on average, our systems per minute should still work out in the end. We'll see how it turns out. Okay, so all 22 systems have been tested. It is 3.25, um, so about 110 minutes. And we processed 15 fully, and then we've got seven more that just need the final cleaning and packing. We're going to do these 15, um, but that's 7.33 minutes. We did the math uh, per we fully ready to go, and then listed... So I list through Acceler List. I already got one listing finalized, so I just need to adjust the quantity. And we will adjust to, uh, we need 12 more, so 13 of the white wees, two of them are black. And then the labels print out. And we'll just slap the labels on and be good to go. All right, so 350. So uh, 140 minutes, two hours and 20 minutes. And we got 15 wees fully processed, fully out. Plus I had 40 other items in my shipment already. And that's going in four different boxes to one FBA warehouse. Thankfully, they, bro they broke down to the same warehouse, but you can't have 50 pounds in, in a box, or more than 50 pounds in a box. So I had to break it down between four boxes because the weight was so much. I am exhausted. We went really, really fast. I've been packing really, really fast. because I got to be done at four, and it's 3.51. So got to weigh these last two boxes, to print the labels. We got to get these loaded up in Skylar's car. And, and that, so they got those. Did you get all those done? Yeah. Also, so seven more done. So, so all of them, 22 for the day. All. So that's 140 minutes, right? Yep. Plus making a video. Plus making a video. <laughs> Plus dinking 140 around. 140 divided by 22. 6.37 minutes per 
full bundle packed up. Uh, that's pretty insane. Yeah. Uh, so I think a one-man operation, it could be done in 10, especially if they're clean systems. So our second batch of systems was way more clean than the first 12. Um, so the second batch was faster. Um, but shoot for 10 minutes as like your really fast, really focused goal. If you can't do them in faster than 15, you should probably check your systems, um, processes, and that type of thing, and, and get faster. But uh, hopefully you learned something in today's video. We sell hundreds of Wii's a year. Probably have sold thousands in my lifetime. And this is how we do it. So thank you guys for coming along for the journey. We had fun doing it. We challenged ourselves a little bit and got them in under seven minutes per. I'm really proud of that. So until next time, hit that like button. We will see you later. Bartle do. Skyler, say something to the people. Bartle do. I love you. Make sure you subscribe and like if you haven't.